Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show top 15 amazing 2024 upcoming bikes review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. As for the pricing and availability, the 2024 Yamaha Tenere the 2024 Yamaha Tenere 700 has a few thoughtful, useful updates for the new year. These include a new 5-inch color TFT display with two different display options, Bluetooth smartphone connectivity, LED turn signals front and rear, and three ABS modes. The bike will be available in Team Yamaha Blue in September 2023 or Shadow Grey in October 2023. MSRP starts at $10,799. Other 2024 returning Yamaha models include the Super Tenera ES, XT250, and TW200. These bikes see no changes in the specification for the new year. New Interface The T7 now features a 5-inch color TFT display on the front, accompanied by a scrolling dial on the right handlebar to control it. Riders can choose between two display options, modern or retro analog style design. Additionally, Bluetooth smartphone connectivity via the Y-Connect app allows riders to receive text and phone call notifications on the dashboard and record ride data for later analysis. LED turn signals. The 2024 Tenere 700 now comes with LED turn signals both in the front and rear, enhancing visibility and adding a modern touch to the bike. Pre-wiring for Yamaha Quickshifter The T7 comes pre-wired from the factory to fit the Yamaha Quickshifter, which is an optional accessory available at an additional cost. The Quickshifter allows for smoother, and quicker gear shifts without the need for clutch usage. Expanded ABS modes. Yamaha has improved the ABS mode offerings for the 2024 T7. Instead of only having on or off options, riders can now choose from three different modes. Mode 1 for full ABS activation on both front and rear wheels. Mode 2 with ABS activated only for the front wheel. And Mode 3 with ABS turned off completely. For 2024, the Touareg 660 looks sexier than ever. There are three new shades on offer, namely Atriides Black, Canyon Sand, and Dakar Podium. The first option drapes the ADV in a sinister black livery, while the second one comprises a sandy finish on the bodywork. Both have a red finish for the trellis frame to add a pinch of sportiness. The crown jewel, meanwhile, is the Dakar Podium livery. As the name suggests, it pays homage to Aprilia's third-place finish in the 2010 Dakar Rally and takes inspiration from the RXV 4.5 race bike. The livery is a blend of white, blue, and red finishes, topped by thick black stripes and a red chassis. As good as this looks, we think the Italian giant could have slapped on some extra tidbits for an even spicier aesthetic. Since its debut in 2021, the Aprilia Touareg 660 has been one of the top players in the middleweight adventure bike biz. It goes fast, rides well, and promises exceptional off-road abilities. All this is now being carried forward to 2024, as the Noali factory has taken the wraps off the updated Touareg 660. Not a fan of the new shades? Then, you'd be happy to know Aprilia has also retained the 2023 colors. So you can get the motorcycle in Acid Gold, Martian Red, and Indeco Talzmust options. 
The first two have dual tone seats, color matched with the liveries. Nothing has changed under the skin. The Touareg 660 continues to employ Aprilia's 659 cubic centimeters, twin cylinder powerhouse. Setting a high standard in the adventure motorcycle segment, the Norden 901 allows touring enthusiasts to discover the hidden corners of the globe. Highly capable on-road and excelling off-road, the long-distance travel machine is designed to enhance rider comfort on longer rides. Powered by a smooth and torquey 889 cubic centimeters parallel twin engine, which is housed inside a lightweight, steel trellis frame, the Norden 901 is complete with premium components. Offering maximum performance and reliability. Explore the world your way with the Norden 901. Husqvarna is bringing back its Norden 901 travel bike for the 2024 model year and endowing it with just minor revisions and updates, mainly of the technological variety. Expect to see the same LC8C engine stuffed into a steel trellis frame and suspended by WP Apex components. But embellished with fresh new colors and a smattering of new rider aids and convenience features this year. Fresh visuals take center stage this year, with the 2024 Norden 901 getting wrapped in new gray and yellow graphics to highlight the whole Neo Retro Meets Rally vibe with a signature round headlight leading the way. Underneath the bodywork though it's business as usual, with the same proven 889 cubic centimeters parallel twin engine taken straight off the KTM 890 Adventure. Indeed, the KTM platform is in full view here, with a light steel trellis frame, adjustable WP Apex suspension at both ends, and Bosch cornering ABS all also back unchanged. Along with the power assist slipper clutch and three standard selectable ride modes Explorer mode is offered as an option that help make the model so adaptable and comfortable and unpredictable. Terrain. The bike we called. A cohesive motorcycle offering a less racy take on adventure touring while delivering on comfort and style. In our first ride review still rolls on Pirelli Scorpion Rally STR. Those wanting a faster Multistrada than the V4S, Pikes Peak, Rally, and Grand Tour have had their prayers answered in the 2024 V4RS. Ducati is claiming a plainly bonkers 180 horsepower out of the $37,995 MSRP RS, which, unlike the aforementioned models listed above, uses the Panigale V4S and Street Fighter V4S's 1,103 cubic centimeters Desmosetici straight ale engine as opposed to the ubiquitous 1,158 cubic centimeters motor. The RS gains the same high-flow air filter as the chart-topping Panigale V4R Superbike and the billet aluminum STME VOSBK dry clutch, but weight saving has been a main aim of the RS gain. To that end, there's 6 pounds taken off the now lithium-ion battery, a 5.5 pound lighter titanium subframe. And 6 pounds have been shed from the now forged aluminum Marcassini wheels, and as we all know, less unsprung mass means more fun in the corners. The RS gets every Ducati electronic gizmo you'd expect, adaptive cruise control ACC and blind spot detection BSD, Bosch inertial measurement unit. For power modes with the extra race riding mode that gives the full whack of the V4 motor in all six gears. For ECU modes of race, sport, touring, and urban. 
traction, wheelie and engine brake control, quick shifter, and a 6.5-inch TFT display that allows phone mirroring via the Ducati Connect app. V4 Multis have always been good at e-dragging, but this one looks like it's up the ante somewhat. Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show 2024 Honda Goldwing first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Twenty twenty four Honda Goldwing Honda has announced its new twenty twenty three Honda Goldwing. But we have a few rumors to cover for the 2024 Honda Goldwing. Four Goldwing trim levels are available. Goldwing Automatic DCT, Goldwing Tour Airbag Automatic DCT, Goldwing Tour, and Goldwing Tour Automatic DCT. It's expected to get updated lines, colors, technology, and new character detail updates. All four trim levels use the proven 1833 cubic centimeters six-cylinder engine from the history that Goldwing has carved out. Depending on the model, you can choose between a conventional six-speed transmission and our exclusive Honda seven-speed automatic DCT transmission. What to expect for 2024? 2024 Honda Goldwing rumors. Updates keep upgrading until 2025 or with a massive navigation software update in 2023. It is hoped that not only feature updates or Android Auto compatibility, the colors and design aesthetics for the new model will be seen soon. Look at our independent renders that intend to keep your expectations for the upcoming model the same. 2024 Honda Goldwing Colors Update Official model 2024 Honda Goldwing has yet to be announced, but we are very interested in doing the latest rendering by collecting some rumors circulating in various online media. The price of 2024 Honda Rebel 1100 will be $9,999 in USA expectedly. All specs, features and price on this page are unofficial. Official price and specs will be update on official announcement. 2024 Honda Rebel 1100 will be launched in 2023. It will be available in attractive iridium gray metallic and green metallic colors. A much-anticipated addition to Honda's Rebel series is the Rebel 1100, which is scheduled to be on sale in 2024. The Rebel 1100 is a cruiser motorbike that blends cutting-edge style with a strong engine, cutting-edge technology, and comfortable ergonomics. This summary will shed light on a number of features of the new Honda Rebel 1100. Engine The Honda Rebel 1100's potent engine is its standout feature. A 1084cc parallel twin engine, with enough power and torque for both city commuting and long-distance touring, is anticipated to be included. The Honda Africa twin engine, renowned for its dependable performance, is most likely the source of the engine's inspiration. Riders can anticipate an interesting riding experience, a snappy throttle, and excellent acceleration. Design and Style The Honda Rebel 1100 has a sophisticated design that combines traditional cruiser looks with a dash of modern flair. It conveys the feeling of casual riding thanks to its low-slung silhouette, broad handlebars, and relaxing seating posture. The Rebel 1100 is an eye-catching motorcycle with quality finishes, LED lighting, and sleek lines that is sure to draw attention. Comfort and Ergonomics The Honda Rebel 1100 is expected to offer a roomy, 
relaxing riding position because it was designed with the comfort of the user in mind. The NT1100, whose combination of performance, comfort, functionality, elegant styling and excellent value for money made it the best-selling touring bike in Europe in 2023, receives two striking new color updates for the 2024 model year. To add to its comprehensive appeal, matte blue jeans metallic and candy chromosphere red join the ever-popular matte iridium gray metallic in the NT1100 lineup. With all three colors featuring a new matte ballistic black metallic rear rack. Since its introduction to the European range in 2022, more than 12,000 NT1100S have been sold. With more than 66% of customers choosing the option of Honda's exclusive dual clutch transmission. To ensure that the NT1100 rider can have their bike exactly the way they want it, three dedicated accessories are available that improve comfort and functionality over long distances. Available individually or in three dedicated packs urban, touring and voyage the accessories include a 50L top box, fog lights and a comfortable seat. The 2024 Honda NT1100 has been launched with two new colors and an update to one of the existing paint jobs. Since its launch in 2022, the Honda NT1100 has been sold in over 12,000 units across Europe, and the 2024 model year will see the third iteration of what, in 2023, was the best-selling touring motorcycle in Europe. Fundamentally, the only changes for 2024 on the Honda NT1100 are two new paint options, and a change to the existing matte iridium gray metallic color, which gets a matte ballistic black metallic rear carrier. That same rear carrier color is present on the two new for 2024 colors, which are matte jeans blue metallic and candy chromosphere red. Other than the paint choices, the bike remains the same as that which has proven so successful in Europe over the past two years. Centered around the 1084cc parallel twin-cylinder engine producing 100 brake horsepower and 77 foot-pounds steel semi-double cradle frame. Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show top 10 best option upcoming 2024 adventure motorcycles worth to wait first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Honda has submitted certification data in Switzerland for updated Africa twin models, with evidence of substantial changes in store for the Adventure Tour. The preliminary data is specifically for new Africa twin Adventure sports models, with both a manual or dual-clutch transmission. The data is only partially complete, but what has been released indicates the Africa twin Adventure sports is getting an updated engine and changes to its chassis. As of this writing, there is no data about updated versions of the non-adventure sports models, but we expect that will be available very soon. The certification filings list a new engine code, SD13E, for the manual Africa Twin Adventure Sports codenamed CRF1100A4 and the DCT version codenamed CRF1100D4. Since the 2020 model year when they changed from the previous 998 cubic centimeters engine to the current 1084 cubic centimeters displacement, the Africa twin models were certified with the engine code SD080. 
We can confirm the new engine will remain at the same 1084 cubic centimeters displacement, and that the peak horsepower output remains certified for the same 101 horsepower at 7500 RPM. But the torque output sees a jump from the current 77.4 foot-pounds at 6,250 rpm to 82.6 foot-pounds at 5,500 rpm. The engine isn't the only change coming. According to the certification data, the new model has a wheelbase of 1,570 mm. That's 5 mm, or 0.2 inches, shorter than the Africa Twins' current wheelbase which has remained at 62.0 inches across all variants since the update from CRF-1000L to CRF-1100L for the 2020 model year. If you've been eagerly awaiting the release of the 2024 BMW R1300 GS, then we've got good news for you, because it's finally here. The engine isn't the only thing that's new about this bike, either, as BMW Motorrad basically redesigned the whole concept of its flagship adventure tour from the ground up. The resulting bike weighs a full 26 pounds less than the 2023 R1250 GS, says BMW. Let's dive right in, because there's a lot to discuss. The engine. The 2024 BMW R1300 GS is powered by a 1300cc air and liquid cooled boxer engine with bore and stroke of 106.5mm by 73mm. It makes a claimed 145 horsepower at 7750 rpm alongside 105 pound-feet of torque at 6,500 rpm. It uses BMW shift cam variable valve timing technology, with intake valves that are 44 mm in diameter and exhaust valves that are 35.6 mm in diameter. BMW also concentrated on increasing torque throughout the rev range, specifically focusing on the band between 3,600 and 7,800 RPM. There, it says that over 96 pound-feet of torque is consistently available, resulting in a strong pull throughout that should work well in most riding situations. At the same time, BMW says, it managed to keep fuel consumption comparable to the R1250GS, it's just using its power more efficiently. Top speed is a claimed 124 miles per hour, and 0 to 62 miles per hour time is listed as 3.39 seconds. Suzuki has launched the V-Strum 800D Rally Edition in France. Compared to the standard model, the Rally Edition comes with new components. That said, the Rally Edition is currently only offered in the international markets. The V-Strum 800D is positioned above the V-Strum 650 XT. It was just back in November 2022 that the V-Strum 800D was unveiled globally. What's new in the Suzuki V-Strum 800D Rally Edition? While the design of the bike is the same as the regular model, there are a few differences. One of these is the new guard around the front fairing and a one more guard for the engine casing. 
From the photos, it also appears to get a different belly pan as well. All these changes are made to ensure a better off-road ability of the motorcycle. In terms of hardware, the V-Strom 800D Rally Edition comes with a fully adjustable upside-down front forks front and a rear mono shock. The rear mono shock is adjustable for both preload and rebound. Braking duties are handled by 310mm dual discs at front and a single 260mm disc at the back. The brakes come with dual channel ABS as well. The bike rides of 21-inch front and 17-inch rear spoke rims shod in Bridgestone AX41 off-road ready tires. Powertrain of the Suzuki V-Strom 800D Rally Edition. The bike comes with the same 776 cubic centimeters parallel twin motor. This unit develops 84 bhp and 78 newton meters of peak torque. The rider can choose from three ride modes, and comes with Suzuki Intelligent Ride System. Apart from this the bike also gets ride-by-wire, quickshifter, low RPM assist and easy start. Suzuki V-Strom 800D Rally Edition launches in France. Our neighbors across the channel have a new options pack to add to the Suzuki V-Strom 800D. Ducati has just announced the 2024 Desert X Rally, a souped-up version of the Ducati Desert X made for more aggressive off-road riding. Thankfully there's more to the Ducati Desert X Rally than just its livery and high fender. Falling in with the trend of getting highly skilled off-road riders to race big adventure bikes and gnarly competitions, Ducati has already fielded the Desert X Rally in the Erzberg Rodeo. with five-time Enduro World Champ Antoine Mio winning the twin-cylinder class. So it boasts a smorgasbord of upgrades over the base model Desert X. For starters, there's 20mm more suspension travel at each end, bringing the overall numbers to 250mm at the front and 240mm at the rear. The front end wears new billet aluminum triples, gripping a set of closed cartridge KYB forks that sport a Kashima coating on the uppers and a DLC coating on the lowers. There's an Olean steering damper in play too. Like the regular Desert X, the Ducati Desert X Rally has an aluminum swing arm, but the pivot point sits in a different spot. A fully adjustable KYB shock features a bigger piston than the base model's unit. With the suspension changes, the Desert X Rally's ground clearance now sits at 280 mm. Like its sibling, the Desert X Rally wears a 21-inch front wheel and an 18-rear wheel. But the Rally's wheels are built with billet aluminum hubs, Excel rims, and Pirelli Scorpion Rally STR tires and its rear wheel is half an inch narrower than before. Twenty twenty four Honda Transalp is coming to America. The California Air Resources Board has issued an executive order for the Honda XL750 Transalp, certifying the mid-sized adventure tour for the 2024 model year. It's been a big day. Along with this morning's confirmation of the BMW R1300GS, we now see paperwork that confirms the new Honda Transalp is headed to the US market. Motorcycle.com found documents filed with the California Air Resources Board that show the machine will come to America as a 2024 model. 
That's about all you can learn from the documents, unless you're fascinated by the minute details of emissions testing. But it is the first real confirmation we've had that Honda is bringing the Transalp to North America. We certainly would have expected it, but sometimes these things take longer than you'd think. Now that we see the paperwork, we would expect the bikes to be here later this riding season or early in the 2024 season. What is the Honda Transalp all about? Like the original Transalp model, the new machine appears to be more of a street-oriented adventure bike than the Africa Twin. It is based around the same liquid-cooled 750 twin that Honda used for the new Hornet. It first officially appeared at the EICMA show in 2022. The new XL750 Transalp is based on a 755cc liquid-cooled parallel twin, with 8-valve head and 270-degree crank. Claimed output is about 90 horsepower at 9,500 rpm and 55 lbft of torque at 7,250 rpm. An assist slipper clutch is standard. A quick shifter is available as an option for the six-speed gearbox. The much-discussed optical unit split in two, the so-called split face, now seems to be at the end of its days. A new stylistic era is about to arrive at KTM, at least judging by the spy photos circulating on the net. The first pictures of the next one KTM Super Adventure, they date back to last November 2022, but in recent days other images that appeared on the forum. EU forum and taken from social networks and sector publications have been added. The element that immediately catches the eye concerns precisely the front which, as in the case of the Super Duke Paparazzi in a prototype guise already last autumn, abandons the element divided lengthwise in two for a new structure based on two LED projectors arranged one above the other. In particular, in the new images of the Super Adventure, the front appears to be even more developed with the daytime running lights forming a sort of LED frame. Furthermore, a cover on the upper lamp suggests the presence of the radar sensor more integrated into the design of the front compared to the current one. They are also original large integrated turn signals which could also have a cornering function. The images suggest that there is no glass to cover the entire optical group and therefore the new face of the KTM 1390 Super Duke could be just that. Sure, cleaning it from the midges will be fun. We think it could also increase the hissing, but will remain in doubt until we have it before our eyes. And speaking of glass and rustling, on the prototype photograph, there is also an additional deflector on the upper part of the windshield, certainly useful for some tests. It's shaping up to be a pretty interesting year for Big Bore Adventure Bike News. As we head into the weeks before the Euro manufacturers typically release their new machines, Ben Purvis over at Bike Social says he's found evidence that KTM is working on a 1390V twin, presumably to be launched soon. The information comes from poking around KTM's parts ordering system and finding references to a new 1390 engine. Three variants of Versus 1000 will be available to European customers in 2024 with standard S and SE models on offer and two new color options available across what amounts to 12 model options. Offering an entry point into the exciting leader class Versus 1000 stable, the standard model of Versus shares many of the attributes of the other two machines in the range including assist and slipper clutch, electronic cruise control, three-mode Kawasaki traction control plus selectable power modes and integrated anti-lock braking. Additionally, like each machine in the range, the standard machine is also available in a number of addition model types from Kawasaki dealers covering Tourer, Tourer Plus, and Grand Tourer making the overall range option an impressive 12 models. 
A midpoint in the range, the Versus 1000S replaces the analog-style meter of the standard machine with a full-color TFT display that can also be paired via Bluetooth to the rider's smartphone relaying a vast array of information via the Kawasaki Radiology app. As part of an overall specification that includes an IMU enhanced electronics package, the S adopts a dual direction quick shifter plus LED cornering lights and rider selectable integrated riding modes. And from a practical perspective, a large height adjustable windscreen, handguards and grip heaters all feature in the specification. Topping out the three machine range, plus addition variants, is the Versus 1000 SE encompassing all of the advanced electronic, technical and engineering features of the S model adding an extra layer of rider convenience via the adoption of Showa electronically damped suspension. Ducati has just announced the 2024 Desert X Rally, a souped-up version of the Ducati Desert X made for more aggressive off-road riding. Thankfully there's more to the Ducati Desert X Rally than just its livery and high fender. Falling in with the trend of getting highly skilled off-road riders to race big adventure bikes and gnarly competitions, Ducati has already fielded the Desert X Rally in the Erzberg Rodeo. with five-time Enduro world champ Antoine Mio winning the twin-cylinder class. So it boasts a smorgasbord of upgrades over the base model Desert X. For starters, there's 20 mm more suspension travel at each end, bringing the overall numbers to 250 mm at the front and 240 mm at the rear. The front end wears new billet aluminum triples, Gripping a set of closed cartridge KYB forks that sport a Kashima coating on the uppers and a DLC coating on the lowers. There's an Olean steering damper in play too. Like the regular Desert X, the Ducati Desert X Rally has an aluminum swing arm, but the pivot point sits in a different spot. A fully adjustable KYB shock features a bigger piston than the base model's unit. With the suspension changes, the Desert X Rally's ground clearance now sits at 280 mm. Like its sibling, the Desert X Rally wears a 21-inch front wheel and an 18-rear wheel. But the Rally's wheels are built with billet aluminum hubs, Excel rims, and Pirelli Scorpion Rally STR tires, and its rear wheel is half an inch narrower than before. Visually, the Desert X Rally is recognizable by its striking, predominantly red livery, its one-piece Enduro-inspired seat, and its forged carbon fiber sump guard. It also gets adjustable CNC machine brake and gear levers. The Desert X Rally shares the Desert X's 937 cubic centimeters twin-cylinder Testostrata engine, good for 110 horsepower at 9,250 rpm and 92 newton meters at 6,500 rpm. <laughs>